the English is a more patient opening where white plays c4 to control the d5 square without committing a central pawn. c5 meets c4 with a symmetrical approach to controlling the center. And c3 develops the knight and controls the d5 and e4 squares. And f6 develops the knight toward the center and controls the e4 and d5 squares. g3 prepares to fianchetto the light squared bishop to g2, where it will control the center from the long diagonal. This prepares the bishop for development. This develops a knight off its starting square, getting it into the action. The bishop is ready to be developed to an active square. This fianchettos the bishop by placing it on a powerful diagonal. This develops the bishop and gives it scope on the long diagonal. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling king side tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. This prepares the bishop for development. This is an equal trade. Takes back. The rooks can see each other now, allowing them to provide mutual defense. This activates a knight by developing it off of its starting square. It is the last book move. A very strong play. It is excellent. This develops a rook off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is best. This defends the attacked pawn. It is excellent. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. It is good. This is a fair move. It is good. Castling develops a rook, while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. It is excellent. That's fine. It is good. This overlooks an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. This develops a rook off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is excellent. Very precise. It is best. That's a sensible reply. It is excellent. This develops a queen off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is best. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. This is a fair move. It is good. This moves the bishop to a more active square, making it gain scope. It is excellent. The rooks can see each other now, allowing them to provide mutual defense. It is excellent. This protects the attacked pawn. It is best. One of the best moves. It is excellent. That's fine. It is good. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. A solid choice. It is excellent. A very strong play. It is excellent. That's a sensible reply. It is excellent. This moves the bishop to a better location, allowing it to control more squares. It is excellent. This is a fair move. It is good. One of the best moves. It is excellent. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. A solid choice. It is excellent. That's fine. It is good. A very strong play. It is excellent. This moves the bishop to a better location, allowing it to control more squares. It is good. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. That's an unfortunate error. It is a mistake. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. It is a miss. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. That's a sensible reply. It is excellent. Right on target. It is best. One of the best moves. It is excellent. A solid choice. It is excellent. A very strong play. It is excellent. This moves the bishop to a better location, allowing it to control more squares. It is best. This moves the bishop to a more active square, making it gain scope. It is excellent. This is a fair move. It is good. This is the strongest option. It is best. This moves the bishop to a better location, allowing it to control more squares. It is best. 
This moves the bishop to a more active square, making it gain scope. It is excellent. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. The opening was balanced. That was an incredible middle game by both players.